Hi all. Uh, today in this session, we will check how to do some basic transformation by using uh, tmap uh, function. So for that, uh, let's first take some source data. That is my employee dimension data. And uh, let's use a debug mode. Let me connect this to. Now let's check how the data is. Now you can see in this uh, file, I have uh, employee dimension related data. That is employee ID, first name, last name, and department ID. Let's see how to do some uh, basic transformation here. So for that, I'll use a tmap uh, component. So I'll get that tmap component in this uh, uh, processing unit. Under this uh, processing, you will get tmap. Let me use T replicate. So that we can see how the data is. Let me delete this one. Let me connect to T replicate so that we will broadcast the same data in both areas. Now let me connect once again to this T map. And then add use. And we use T log row once again. And let me connect this to by right clicking row new output T log row. So when you connect this T log row, uh, when you connect this T map output to T log row, it will ask you to provide some uh, name for that output. Let me make it uh, as fast output. And it got connected. Now let's see what all are the properties here. So here it, you can see mapping uh, link is auto. Okay. And then I need to go to this uh, map editor. So uh, here you can see in the left side, we have the list of columns that is coming from the source. And this is my first output, that is my output that I just created. So we can just drag and drop the uh, columns that we want in the output. Okay. So whichever columns we want in the output, we can just drag them. If you want to uh, select multiple columns, then you can do that. So that multiple columns get moved from source to target. So here the basic thing is we can do some transformation using Tmap. Like suppose say I want to remove some column in my output before sending it to the output. Now suppose say here I have uh, uh, four columns in my input, but I don't want to populate that department ID in my output. So what I did, I just populated that employee ID first name and last name and dragged it to the right side. 
so uh, only three uh, output goes to three columns goes to the output flow let's run this Now you can see here, this is my output for T log row two. One is, uh, th this contains uh, employee ID, first name, last name, and I don't have the department ID here. So if I want to uh, filter out some column that I don't want uh, it to be in the output, then I can do that using Tmap row, Tmap. The same thing I can do using T filter column as well. Now let's see some other functionality. If I want to put some filter on any of the column, uh, I want to uh, filter the record where employee ID is one. So I can go to this particular section, enable disable filter expression. I can just click on that. And suppose I want to put a filter on employee ID equal to two. So what I can do, I can just select that particular employee ID from the left, drag it to this particular expression you can see that will come then you can write equal to equal to two so for equal to operator we can do here uh, we can do one more thing we can just click on this three button it will open a window which uh, by which we can have we can just edit this particular thing Uh, now you can see i just clicked on this uh, three button here and it uh, opened a window here i can provide all the expressions that i want okay and once this uh, expression you have written you can just click on this test to check if it is working fine or not So I just put a filter on employee ID equal to two and I'm populating this employee ID first name and last name. Let's see how the data comes in my output. Let me change the format to table for this T log row two. And let's run it. You can see total five records are going into everywhere. Now let's see how many records are flowing to each flow. Now you can see as I have put a filter, then it is only populating that one record to my T log row two. Let's see. This is my output for T log row two, where it is getting filtered out. So this T map for uh, T map component uh, uh, helps in filtering the record as well. It works like a T filter row as well. So it is a combine. It T map can do multiple operations. Uh, apart from the existing components that we currently have in talent. Let's see some more functionality. Uh, suppose I want to do some transformations. Uh, so this is my uh, source and this is my target. Okay. Now suppose I want to uh, add one more column in my target. Uh, like suppose say, uh, some flag where I will keep the data type as string. I just added it here. Now you can see it came here and I want to hard code that value to some value like Y. So I can do that by just uh, typing uh, this uh, as this is a string. I'll just put it in single quote Y. So this is how I can hard code the value and add some uh, column in the in my output and just hard code it to a some specific value. Now let's check how the data comes. Just throwing an error.
let's check what is the error here Let's run it. So the error is coming as cannot convert from character to string. Let's check what is the error. So just to check where exactly is the error, you can just click on this code. Go to code, it will open that code. And you can see a red button here. If you just click on that, it will show you where the error is. And it says there is an error in this particular section. Why? Let me just go to the designer once again. And give it in double quotes. Now let's run it. Now, yeah, uh, so one thing uh, that uh, I wanted to show you that whenever we are hard coding something into a particular column, we need to mention it in double quotes so that it will be treated as it as a string. And uh, here you can see uh, this T log row. I am getting. I have added that extra column here in flag, and I've hard coded it, it as y. So that's why it is uh, flowing as y. Now let me remove this particular filter here. So if I want to remove this filter, I can do one thing. I can just uh, remove this entire thing, or I can just click on this disable. We have this enable disable expression filter, right? So if I currently it is enabled, that's why this filter is showing. If I just click on this, the now it has disabled the filter. That means none of the filter will get applied. If I if you again click on that, you can see that filter. But if you again click, that uh, filter is disabled. Now you can just click on OK and run it. Now you can see all the five records are going to my output is that uh, filter is disabled and all of the columns are hard coded with Y. So in this session, we checked how to uh, use DMF uh, uh, component uh, to populate the data from source to target. If I, how I can use a DMF uh, component, I can, uh, we already have a, a component called uh, T filter column where we are removing some column when we are populating to the output. The same thing we can do in this T map as well. We have a component called T filter row where we are filtering out the records. That also uh, that functionality is also available in T map. If you want to hard code some value, add some extra column in my output, remove some uh, column which is there in source, but we don't want to populate to output, we can do that here. We learned how to hard code some value to the output uh, so that all the value in my all the records will have the same output, uh, will have the same value in the output. So in this session, we learned about the basics of uh, TMAP, how to use the TMAP and do some basic transformations. Hope this session is helpful. If you think the session is helpful and uh, it's fruitful for you, then please like and uh, share the video and subscribe my channel. Thanks, have a good day.